Now at 11, a double tragedy in Mexico. A, so a SoCal couple is found dead in their luxury room at a ho re uh, in their hotel room at a luxury resort. Tonight, family and friends trying to come to reality with the shocking deaths. Good evening, I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Rick Chambers. Mike has got this night off. That couple died in their sleep only days after complaining of food poisoning. Officials think they suffered from carbon monoxide poisoning, but an investigation continues tonight. KTLA Samantha Cortese has new details from our news center. Tonight, we spoke with a friend of the Newport Beach local who passed away in Mexico. She said if you knew him, you knew he wasn't out partying or buying drugs. And this is a tragedy for such a young and successful couple and their families. Loved ones are mourning the loss of 28-year-old Abby Lutz and 41-year-old John Heathco. They were found dead Tuesday night in an upscale hotel just north of Cabo in El Pescadero, Mexico. According to a report from the Associated Press and a GoFundMe page set up for Abby, a suspected cause of death at this point is carbon monoxide poisoning. We spoke with a friend of John who did not want to be on camera out of respect for the family, but said he was so sweet and kind, loved Abby and wanted to take care of everyone around him. She also told me John was into healthy living. He was the founder of Less Labs, a nutritional supplement company based in Covina. She said John was not the partying type and went on vacations to explore and do adventurous things. The GoFundMe post set up for Abby says Abby and her boyfriend thought they had food poisoning and went to the hospital to get treatment. We were told they were feeling much better a few days later. We received a phone call saying they had passed away peacefully in their hotel room in their sleep. We have been told it was due to improper venting of the resort and could be carbon monoxide poisoning. The Mexican government says there were no signs of violence and they're waiting toxicology results. The couple had been dead for about 10 hours when their bodies were found. Several Americans have died because of gas inhalation while traveling abroad in the last year. Three tourists at Sandals Resort in the Bahamas experienced the same fate. They noted feeling ill, were seen by medical staff, and died a day later due to carbon monoxide poisoning last summer. And in Mexico City, three Americans died in the fall following a carbon monoxide leak at their Airbnb. On its website, the Poison Control Center says it may not be on your packing checklist, but you should take a battery-operated portable carbon monoxide detector with you while traveling. They cost about $30 and last up to seven years. In the News Center, Samantha Cortese, KTLA 5 News.